Hello folks and welcome to an episode of Inkdependence.com. This is a brief video review and water drop test. Today we have Levenger's Blazing Sunset. Uh, here's the sample vial. This is actually a vial that I brought. I think um, it was either Lori or Tom at the Triangle Pen Club who hooked me up with this. I want to say it was Lori because uh, Tom has a fancy label making machine. Uh, this is a really interesting ink. I had it in this, uh, this here Custom 74 from Pilot. This is a medium nib. You can see I use um, Kind of all of this ink, actually. Uh, on fancy paper, this uh, is Rhodia, of course, you're going to get really good results. This thing uh, shades like mad. The flow is great. And you can see the shading all in there. It looks kind of like, uh, well, I mean, it's called Blazing Sunset, so it's got the, those kind of sunset tones. But it really reminds me of fall. It's kind of a leafy fall color to me. So there you go. This is the swatch. You can see the shading in there as well. This is really kind of a bright orange. Uh, a little show through, but no bleed on the Rhodia, of course. But when you get on some copy paper, it depends on the paper. It's very, uh, uh, I don't know, changeable, variable, I suppose. Some papers it bleeds all the way through, and sometimes you just get some spotting. Uh, but it's not great on cheapo paper. So if you have premium paper, or decent to premium, this is going to be a great ink for you. I really like the way it behaves. You can see there next to the closest thing I have inked up right now, which is actually pretty close, is this uh, Toucan Orange. You can see the orange is actually uh, darker than Blazing Sunset mostly, uh, but where you put down more, you're going to see the sunset is a bit darker. So uh, kind of uh, I don't know, similar, I suppose, but more shading in the sunset, not really any shading in the Toucan Orange. And of course, umbers and blues and greens and such, much different, but you know, what the heck, that's what I had sitting here on the, on the, uh, the old table. All right, so water drop test is what we're all here for, I suppose. This being a sunset -y sort of ink, I don't really suspect there's going to be any particular water resistance, but one never knows. So, go ahead and splash some of this on there. Yep, you can definitely see the orange coming up. That's uh, pretty typical for these kinds of inks. Give it a few seconds. That seems like long enough. All right, blot away with the only clean corner left. And uh, yeah, not much left, so let's go ahead and do a little bit of this, actually, why not? Yeah, so even just swiping it across isn't enough to take it up there. So there you go, lots of orange on the corner. I wonder what that orange was. A lot of orange there, too. Uh, a lot of orange coming up there on the corner. So yeah, no real particular uh, water resistance on this one. And I'm not shocked. Um, here's the chromatography. This is going to look, it's actually damp because I just did it. It's still kind of traveling a little bit, but you can see uh, not a whole lot down here at the bottom where it began. And then up here, you have uh, kind of uh, red in the center and then orange is all around the edges. So, yep, not a whole lot of water resistance apparent there either, but some very nice little colors in there. You can kind of see a bit of a sunset in there if you squint. All right, so this has been uh, Levenger's Blazing Sunset. Thanks again to, I think, Lori. If it's not you, let me know in the comments or something. Send me an email. Uh, this has been Levenger's Blazing Sunset. Check out these Levenger inks. You don't see a whole lot of play for them, these Levenger inks, and most of them are really good. I've never really had a bad one. Although I've really only tried reds now that I think of it. I've got the Blazing Sunset, I've got Pomegranate, I've got Fireball, and that's it. I haven't really tried any other. So red lemon drinks, pretty sweet. So uh, get a hold of this and uh, I'll see you around. Remember, if you like what I do here at Ink Dependence and want to be a patron of the Ink Dependence, please go over to patreon.com slash inkdependence to find out how you can help out. Thanks very much, y'all.